Hello, I'm Edward Foster, artist, and I've got my painting, Born Out of Nature, with me today. And I'm going to talk about this picture and explain all the various things that you can see in it. So, Born Out of Nature. We are born from nature, and we are nature. Um, of all the myriad forms of nature, we, ours is the human form. Um, <clears throat> and this painting is about the union of two coming together and creating three. So two becomes three. And basically this picture is based around um, sacred geometry and one particular um, sacred um, geometry sign, which is the Vesica Piscis. I'll say that again, the Vesica Piscis. And basically, in a nutshell, um, that is two circles overlapping that create um, an almond type of shape in the centre. So, if we look at the painting, we can see that. If you follow here, the yellow dots, this is one circle, and then we have another circle, two. One, two, and where these circles overlap, we have this central shape here. I'll talk more about that uh, as we go on. Um, but this is very, very, very important. And in fact, the whole picture is based on this structure and was born from this structure as well. So <clears throat> the first idea I had of this painting was to draw Vesica Piscis, two circles that overlap, and then think, OK, this is about... Um, creation. This is about two coming together to create a third. This is about life. This is about human life. This is about nature. So, <clears throat> I remember the original idea I had. I had a, an envelope and a scribble on the back, um, two circles and some other squiggle, squiggles and I said, this is Vesica Piscis. Okay, and then for about a couple of years I just left it somewhere and, I, and then I rooted it out again and I thought, oh, that is a really good idea. I must, I must draw this up. So, <clears throat> I started with a scribble and here's, here is the scribble, if you can see. Not easy to see. This is very, very small. Three inches by two inches, and a lot of my ideas come like that. I just something comes into me, and I scribble it down very, very fast, rapidly, and then I'll make notes, etc., all around it. And this is kind of like it's. Um, it reminds me of these ideas, these visions, and I get it down as fast as I can, and then I've got it here documented, so I know <laughs> where it is. I'm not going to lose it. I'm not going to scribble it on the back of an envelope and leave it somewhere for two years. It's there. So, from this idea, this germ of an idea, I then start to draw up the image. And here it is. This is a finished drawing. Now, those of you who've watched my Green Woman video, um, you would have seen this process there. Um, a doodle, a scribbling, an idea, I get down and then I spend a long time on this drawing, getting the balance right, etc. So it's a lot of hours work in this drawing, a lot of the creation of my artwork comes in the drawing. The drawing is essential, just as essential as the painting itself. Okay, so when I've, when I've done that, then I transfer this drawing onto the painting. So, um, we've got
got the shape, the vesica viscous. Can you see the two shapes there? So that's central, that's really, really important. But there's a lot of other shapes um, balancing going on in this picture. For instance, there is triangles in this, and one triangle is very, very important. And that runs down from here, basically, at the top. The central point here, where the two circles start to overlap, and this runs down all the way to the corner of this side here, and exactly the same here runs down to the corner. Now you can't see the triangle there, and I didn't paint the triangle there, um, but the structure of it is there, and it's very, very important. Also, we have a central dividing line that runs from the top all the way down to the bottom the top all the way down to the bottom because this painting is very very balanced on this side we have the, the male figure and on this side the female figure can you see they're on either side of this central line if we go to the top here we have a hummingbird on this side and we also have a hummingbird on that side both of them are coming into the picture so that draws you into the picture and also it draws you into the flowers that they're pollinated and, very, very importantly, the central geometric sign, sacred geometric sign again, which is a flower of life. So that's very, very central um, to the picture and actually it is central just at the top. So the flower of life, let's just have a quick talk about that. Interestingly enough, um, the vesica piscus, two circles that overlap, is repeated in, in this Flower of Life design. Absolutely fascinating. Worth having a little research on that on the internet. Um, you put in the Flower of Life and Vesica Piscis too. Put those in, just have a, have a play around on the internet and you'll find lots of fantastic and really exciting information there. So let's get back to the form of the painting. So the central line cuts down here and we have a flower on one side, another flower on this side as well. Um, we have these lilies. Can you see? Repeat each other, they echo each other. Figures as we've talked about too. And also we have the leaves that fall down here and on this side too. So there's a lot of design gone into this picture. But obviously I don't want it to be too rigid because it's a picture about nature. So it's really important that we have that. So, um, a bit of symbology in the picture and a bit of um, other forms that connect. If you see here, we've got um, the flowers. We've got a lot of male and female in this. And we've got a lot of lovemaking. Um, because that's, <laughs> that's how we continue life, by making love. And nature does that all the time, all the time. And there's a lot of symbology, the flowers, like I say, you may have a female flower here, and a male, and look at this, there's a female flower here with the, the bird um, coming in, creating more life from here. Um, obviously, we've got it with the lilies too, the male lily, the female lily. Um, and then form again, if we look, We've got this ivy leaves that spiral round and the fern that spiral round on her shoulder. This is repeated on both sides. This gets balanced again. And the fern coils into the style of her hair as well. So there's little subtle things there which you can see throughout the painting. So let's just get now to the most important part of this painting, which is the baby. And you see the different <coughs> stages of the fetus from here developing as a flat as a plant glow grows, the fetus grows too. And finally it becomes a baby, central in this almond shape. Well, there's lots more 
about this painting, but please look at the picture yourself and try and find more about it, if you can, and what you feel and see. Um, the full image can be seen on my website, www.edwardfosterart.co.uk, with lots of my other work and information on various things. Um, I will be doing more of these videos, and there's one or two already on my YouTube channel. Um, and it'd be wonderful if you could um, subscribe to that, and then you can keep up to date with new video releases. One final thing, this painting is available as a signed limited edition print. And they're all got this mount round to and wrapped. All, all nicely and carefully done and each one is numbered and personally signed by me too. So thank you very much for watching today and um, goodbye.